Hello, my Sock Universe. Yeah, I'm quite obviously punished for uh, not getting the jerseys of the teams that I don't have in the quarterfinals because both teams that I don't have jersey of made it into the semis. Manchester City is out. I am need to wear <laughs> a France jersey and I wanted to go with some that's more Lyon colored. Um, but since Lyon was playing yesterday in dark grey black, um, I decided yeah, let, let, let's go with the World Cup winning one. To be honest, I have to say that this PSG jersey here is more like a Lyon jersey than a PSG jersey, although they have been wearing this style in the late 80s, early 90s. <sighs> Manchester City, I mean, again, money does not always score goals. Money does not always score goals. That's, um... If you have a super expensive squad, uh, this usually is a good indication that you will go places. And in all fairness, it has, has been saying uh, Manchester City in England, yeah, maybe not this season, but they have been really good. The only thing they didn't have is a defense. And I think this is where, and I hate to say it because so many people uh, only used this for Guardiola, but that's why he has been overthinking it. He thought, yeah, defensively, we are not all that sound. Let's go with three on the back um, and let's leave some of our creative players like Bernardo Silva, David Silva, uh, Foden, who played great against Real Madrid. Um, let's leave them out, even uh, Riyad Mahrez. If you are worried about defense against the Lyon team, I don't know, Pep. I don't know, Pep. It, it, this to me doesn't is what uh, what doesn't make sense. Against Real Madrid, yes, they were defensively not sound, but actually they played well. They had Real Madrid in the back, and then he's tinkering uh, formations, tinkering around, and uh, when he changes, you kind of have wasted already half the game. Um, I sometimes wish, and you know, don't get me wrong. Don't go wrong. Uh, despite me not having a Lyon jersey, and I really have nothing Lyon here. Uh, by the way, can you make out the Leipzig can? Up there? I hope it comes down soon. I really hope it, it comes down soon. Um, I really like Lyon going through. This is basically the breath of fresh air that I wanted to have on Monday with Atta. Uh, on Monday, uh, a few days ago. Um, uh, Wednesday, when um, Atalanta played PSG. That would have been a breath of fresh air. Uh, we don't have the all-corporate semi-final uh, where the Bayern are the, are the good guys. Now we have a true underdog story, but I think it will end right there and then. But having said all that, with all that Guardiola has at his disposal, and uh, I really have to say, Manchester City are one... On their day, they're a really fun team to watch. I mean, I can watch De Bruyne for hours. The passes he plays, this is just awe-inspiring. And, and he had had a few yesterday in, in, in there as well. Only he plays passes like that. I mean, it's really enjoyable. But I sometimes wish he would not have as many options available that he can tinker around. Uh, I think this is probably the strength of Klopp. Uh, and his Liverpool side, there is a clear first squad where maybe occasional players are get, getting in, but it's pretty clear who is on the team sheet. With City, it's not. Guardiola can think around that. I think this is ultimately his undoing. I really, really like Guardiola as, as a coach. Uh, yes, the last two teams that he coached were maybe not to my liking overall, but hey, uh, please take it down a notch. So yeah, the game, I actually, uh, there was a good chance uh, early by Raheem him, him Sterling, but I always had the feeling that uh, Lyon is quite well into, into the game, was always ready to hit City on the count, counter and this is how the first goal came, came about, I think it was a deep ball made from Awa, he seemed to be ev ev everywhere. Um, Playing a deep ball for, 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 for to Toko Akambi, uh, oh, who is kind of blow blocked off, but then the rebound falls right to Corne, who really nicely serves it in the internet. There was a slight thought of offside, but Kyle Walker, who kind of was the one player, it was not Fernandinho, who is kind of, but I always, always felt that whenever there was something a little bit iffy happening, it was always Kyle Walker who was uh, messing things up. He 
did not hold the line and then uh, it was not offside. But um, having also praised De Bruyne, if he in the build up closes the first pass in that play, uh, if he closes it down properly, um, I think it could have been uh, prevented as well. Then Gabriel Jesus and so on. I mean, Sterling, there were chances, and I think towards the end of the first, 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 first maybe it would not have been out of sorts that um, Manchester City would have scored. Um, however, it was really when uh, Mares came on for Fan Fernandinho that then uh, City really put the pressure on, you know, turning the screws and really getting uh, to Lyon. And the midfield of Lyon had been so disciplined and very um, tough there, kind of you felt was tiring and I'll come to the tiredness uh, a little a little bit later because I mean, this is only the third game back so I think the tiring is really because Manchester City was having the ball, so the ball and this tires and wears you down um, and they get the goal. Uh, it was actually kind of funny, De Bruyne plays the initial deep pass and then uh, if you watch the replay he's just standing there and waiting and waiting and waiting and then the ball comes to Sterling um, who plays in the box and at that moment seemingly De Bruyne started to run he gets the ball pulls pulls in the net uh, in the 69th minute it's 1-1 one, one. at that moment I really thought it's gonna happen Gabriel Jesus had then a short shot and goal and just at the point when they put uh, in a graphic of how dominant City had been playing over the past 15 minutes um, Awa plays a deep ball uh, the Toko Kambi steps over and Musa Dembele, who had just come on a few minutes before for Memphis Depay, and I thought, hmm, that is an interesting, but uh, Depay was not really in, in, in the game. Um, he makes a foul in midfield. I think that should have call, been called call back, but then he's clear on goal and can convert. Makes it 2-1. Uh, referees don't look at the foul. You know, it's a subjective call. Done and dusted. 2-1 for Lyon. City brings on finally a silver, David Silva, uh, for Rodri. I'm, I'm, I'm really wondering why he doesn't bring on Bernardo Silva, because he has been outstanding. Uh, whenever I thought, I mean, he, I thought he's the better silver in that squad. Uh, does not bring, he, uh, but he brings on David Silva. Um, and right off the get-go then. I think uh, it's it, uh, originally with David Silva, then the ball comes to... Um, Gabriel who sees Sterling free. Goalie is away, everything. Their goal mouth is wide open and Sterling manages to pull, pull it over. Manchester City combusting right there and then. And then to make matters even worse, um, Musa Dembele gets the second one off a shot. I think it was again Awa who makes, uh, it was not a hard shot to save. And then uh, Ederson spills it. To Dombele, and it's 3 1 Lyon, and Lyon are through. Can I quickly say I really don't like those Lyon jerseys? I think Lyon could have so much better jerseys than this one. But yeah, they are through, and we have an all German French semi final, which uh, coincidentally are the two leagues that had the biggest breaks ahead of the Champions League of all the ones that were left. Uh, I already said before that. Uh, doesn't really bear out for the Europa League to be honest uh, because I think the quality uh, shown through there but I have to say that the Italian teams I saw pretty pretty quickly that they are gonna flame out uh, if it, um, there's just not too, too much in there uh, you saw it's uh, Leipzig already seemed fresher uh, Bayern of uh, hell looked fresher uh, PSG uh, also had a little bit more over Atalanta and now Lyon. I don't think they looked fresher, but uh, the big break did it in a way. Although it also looked not too cohesive, but I think for Lyon it was easy because they just could hold back. It's gonna be a hell of a semi final. Uh, I actually, and I see it everywhere, uh, you know, the French league is the Farmers League, the Bundesliga is not all the great, and now those two leagues are the semi final of the Champions League. Um, it seems to be made for a Bayern PSG final and it seems to be made for Bayern. I think if Bayern wins that one, I have to be honest, this would be the most deserved Champions League win in a long time. Not that I would uh, particularly celebrate it, but it has to be clearly said. Anyway, any comments on Man City Lyon? Very welcome. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon with Europa League. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.